Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So for this week, I'm going to be commemorating Anzac Day in my planner. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alrighty, so it's Anzac Day, which means you guys know I'm going to do something Anzac-y. Anzac-y, something, something, something. I'm, I'm kind of stuck in a couple of different ideas I kind of originally had one idea and then I went away from it and then I've come back and I've got other things that I thought I could use too that I really like so I think I'm kind of gonna try and do a combination of all of my ideas which I don't know if that's going to work but I'm willing to give it a shot and see what happens so we'll just have to see we'll just have to see um, so that's sort of the basis of my uh, of my week is this cute stamp set. This is a Hero Arts one. It's called CM503. It's called Poppy. I'm calling it Poppy. Hero of Hero Floral Poppy. I just love that flower that flower. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I sort of had originally thought that maybe I'd do like a really pale kind of vintagey kind of background so just with antique linen and maybe just a smidgen of like vintage photo or frayed burlap or something and then stamp it and then color it and then I got this awesome collection from Uniquely Creative it's called Tapestry of Time and it's a 6x6 six six. you can get it in 12x12 12 12. but I just I love I love this and I thought I might sort of try tearing it and putting it in here and then I sort of went a bit all over the shop I am just gonna go with the antique linen first and and then maybe add some dark colors it is definitely not a new thing for me to do a, a sort of antique brownie kind of page for Anzac Day just for me it feels like the right thing I know last time I kind of went really dark this time I'm kind of going to try and stay a little bit lighter so I'm going to come over the top here but I'm deliberately being really light handed I don't want this to be perfect I don't want it to be a hundred percent covered I just want just enough to make the, the page look a little bit vintage so I don't care about perfection and I don't care if there's big spots missing. I'm just being a bit rough and a bit more light-handed than normal. I'm just trying to get a, a very pale coverage across the page. it to be a bit musty and not musty like uneven and a bit a bit different I'm not gonna do any spraying or anything I'm just gonna grab just a little bit of vintage photo just just a little bit just around the edges just need a little bit of dimension Now you would have seen I flipped the background, like the backing piece from last week, the one of the sidebars out. I just wanted to try and get a bit more flatness because I was getting a really um, pronounced um, bar down the side there. There we go. That's better. All right. So I do want to tear this out. I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. So I'm just going to tear around the edge here. Whoops, I'm doing it the wrong way. There's sort of two ways to tear. You can tear so you get the the edge up. 
and you can tear so you get the edge down. I want the edge up, so I want to be able to see this white edging. I don't mind that I've just missed a bit, that's fine. I'll just do that again. So you can see here by tearing upwards, I sort of keep that whiteness, if that makes sense. And then I'm still wanting to add some other bits to this. So I'm just going to pull out, well, because I've already torn the paper, so I might as well keep tearing the paper. I'm just going to have that sort of sit behind there, because I don't, whoopsies, that was a bit much. Don't want it to look, the thing is that's going to stick flat, so it'll be fine. I don't want it to look like it's a, um, like it's just sitting there. It needs to have some layers behind it as well. So I'm just kind of trying to hide the, the straight lines because the straight lines are sort of where I'm avoiding. This is my brain when I'm creating, it kind of gets lost. I'm lost in the, what am I doing? Now I'm just going to try and sort of hide Sunday under here a little bit and then I'm going to tuck in there's two parts of me right here. There's the part of me that's just trying to make something that's really pretty, which I think this is. And then there's the other part of me that's trying to remember this is a planner page and I need to do plannery things here as well. And that's the harder part. So these are the Anzac Creative Cuts. These are also from Uniquely Creative. I just I felt like I needed some other kind of bits. I want, I love that the red is in that butterfly because I can, that's sort of the, the colour addition I'm going with. And the only other thing I can think of here that I could do is that I could stick this down on a bit of paper and then have it like as a flip up so that I still get my Sunday. Um, okay, I'm having an idea. I'm having an idea. So this is my uniquely creative um, <sighs> folder, which I haven't 100% got into using yet, but that's okay. It's got this lovely sort of vellum, written vellum, I think this came with the story collection, but it's, it's that same kind of old feel here and I actually really love the way that sits. Now the downside to this is if I put this on here, you're, oh actually, if I put it on this side, then when you flip it over you can sort of see that writing on the back and it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. It may when I sort of put all my, oh no it won't. Right, we're going to do this. So. It's going to be backwards, so it's going to look a bit odd, but it's going to be backwards for a reason. And I don't want it to be the whole kind of area. I feel like I need to do my stamping first before I sort this bit out. Because I really do want to put that Hero Florals and, and, and put a little bit of colour on this before I keep going. I'm just trying to do 50 things at once. Uh, Alright, so this is the stamp. I'm going to stamp it out with my Hero Arts ink because it doesn't smear with watercolour or Copics. Not that I would use Copics in my planner, but I kind of want the, the flower to sit sort of with the main poppy head, I guess, on Anzac Day. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, it doesn't have to be. And there's sort of another stem here that I, th no. I'm gonna put, this one's also gonna come on the other side. Just trying to work out where I wanna put it. Actually, 
let's go with that first and then we'll come back because I'll put the other part of it. Now I was experimenting with using um, oxides and ink. I've decided to actually use watercolour paint just because it's, you know, different and stuff. Um, these were my experiments. I sort of had stamped them out and I kind of didn't really like the way any of them worked but this is going to be really messy. I don't want this to look like a... Not that I can make works of art, but I don't want this to look perfect by any stretch. I want it to be a bit messy, but I also therefore need it to be a bit more watered down than I thought, which is why I sort of thought the oxides would be nice. But So I'm starting off with the just like a wash of water. Yeah, remember we've got oxide underneath this so it will and it should react at least a little bit that's okay though and I want to grab a bit but I'm taking off most of that water I'm kind of coming in and I'm holding this a long way back if you can see sort of where I'm holding my my brush I'm holding it a long way back because I don't want crazy control here I want it to be leave it damn it that's gone through a little bit on the other side and that's okay because oh, I just didn't want it to I was trying to be light-handed so that I didn't get that anyway uh, I'm gonna add just a little bit of green I, I want a very I'm gonna use this sort of army green kind of color because I want it to be like it actually let's have a look at this one what's this brownie green look like that's better use that brownie green And try and be light. I don't want a lot of colour, I just want enough. This one I am being a bit more careful with. But I am being a bit messy with the leaves. I don't mind if it goes outside the lines, that's perfectly fine. Alright, I feel like that poppy's not giving it. The colour is right, but there's something about it that's not right, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's go with this. I want this to have the same torn kind of look, and I don't need the holes anyway. So I'm going to tear this, and the good thing is with this vellum, it's a really strong vellum that's going to give me the tear on both sides, which is really cool. I'm also going to tear down this edge, so it goes right to the edge with the writing. have to just just a little bit more I just need this to be a little bit straighter it doesn't have to be perfectly straight just a little bit more straight it's any problem sometimes with tearing you can't quite work out where the next little bit you're gonna grab is gonna come from there we go that'll sit lovely just there and I'm gonna just work out this little puzzle so I'm not putting any glue or anything down yet just going to work out where this is all going to sit I do like that the the two reds kind of kind of match up not completely but kind of and I'm just working my way just to kind of add in some other bits in my little scrapbooky kind of page so I'm gonna stick it all down just like that I'm just gonna use glue tape for that if I can find where my glue tape has gone
All right, so I worked away, not around the metal, but I just decided not to put the metal in. So now I'm just going to work out where I want this to sit. And I'm just going to tear sort of along the top as well and the bottom. Oops. I really love all that tearing. Um, I've kind of, oh no, that'll still work. I was going to say, I've kind of messed up where I was going to punch the holes. But I haven't. So, just need a pen. Now, I can see little bits of glue dots sort of hanging out. I can feel them as well. Now, I deliberately didn't put say so I didn't put enough glue tape to sort of stick this down I want that sort of a little bit raised isn't the right word but I like the not quite stuck kind of kind of thing I like that it sort of looks like it's coming up off the page and then I'm being careful because I don't want to accidentally punch too close to the edge because I am awfully close on the top and the bottom. Kind of feel like I'm scrapbooking here. And then when you turn it over you've got that sort of written written part. I'm just looking to see if something right, I'm gonna put just those two down just and a and a poppy. And a poppy. Just to give it a little bit of personality here on the back. I love picking things up and shoving them underneath. It's just a it's a very haphazard way of decorating, but I really love it. I really do like that too. I that poppy's growing on me. I still think it's a little bit too um, a bit too red, but I do like it. I'm gonna leave all of the days and dates the way they are. I don't want to when I say I don't want to bring any attention to them. I don't want them to have any kind of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to, to draw any attention. I just don't want to draw any attention to them. There we go. I am gonna come in here on this side with another one of that poppy. I can find where I put it. And I'm just trying to work out where. I'm also gonna grab one of the buds. Like I said, I'm just I'm gonna make a bit of a mess in a minute as well because I need to have some differentiation. Now this one did come, I did also get the die set with it because I'm gonna use that for other things, but it also has like the little stem one I showed you, and it's also got like a, a proper bud, so it's got like a a fully extended, is that the right word? Uh kind of one, and then it's got one that hasn't been you got the bud and then you've got one that's sort of got the flower coming out of it. I'm just going to join these two together. I don't think I can get the the bud one on. And then I'm going to just paint them the same way I did the other one.
Now I'm sure some people are looking at that going, that looks horrible, you haven't blended it in. I really like the, the messy watercolour look, I just think it's fun. Alright, I do need to put something on here to kind of busy it up. I like the simplicity of it and I, I didn't want to go too crazy, but I do want to add just a little bit of black. This is my scary bit because I don't want to sort of, you know, mess up everything I've just done like that. So I'm just a little bit of black speckles, I'm trying to concentrate it a little bit over sort of where I did the, the painting. Well, I need to do a little bit of brown in the middle here. I did just what I did before, kind of put it there and then I'm going to pick it up. So I'll kind of put it, but it's not, it's not staying there. I definitely prefer this one. I'm, I'm not going to even pretend. I definitely prefer this one. But I do love the, the big pop of that side. I'm going to put that Anzac Day sticker straight back down where it was. Whoops, I smudged one. That's okay. I think, I think I'm happy. I'm just going to really quickly hit this. Whoops, it's too hot. That's right. Um, what I do need to do is obviously put some... I had a lot of little bits that I pulled up so I kind of have to put them back down so I'm grabbing my this is my uniball air so how are we gonna do this so we've got one two three so this is Thursday because I can't dry this I'm just giving it a quick pat I just don't want to smear it so I'm just giving everything a quick pat just to get the the main wet part over off of it and then I can go in and do this I need some washi tape it's just something about it's not looking right and I need to fix it so these are some I don't want those ones I do but this is from Hobby Hoppers. This is a vintage one. I'm going to sort of do something a little bit like I did last week. I want that torn edge again. So I'm just going to tear a little bit off the top. But I don't want it to be too... I don't want to like... Last time I did it in half. This time I'm trying to sort of do it a third of the way. But I'm not doing a very good job. I like that this then not hides the stamp at the bottom but just it gives it something to melt into. That's just nice, I like that. Hasn't bled through quite as badly on this second page. It was it was pretty horrible. Here, oh it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I can I can live with it. And then on the top. On the top I have this this one's from I bought it from shine it's not really the right kind of sentiment for Anzac Day so I won't use that one I need to use that more though it's very pretty that would make actually a really good memory decks card I reckon no nah, it's going the wrong way if it was going the right way that would be good but it's going the wrong way I'm just checking if I've got a black and white one I don't think I do My vintagey looking ones are just the, the brown ones. Alright, so I'm gonna use the same tape again at the top. Actually, I'm not. I'm gonna grab this one. I think it's just it's got that paper bag feel to it. It's actually still a bit too thick, ridiculously enough. I wish it was just a teensy bit skinnier. I don't know if I can do this. I feel like this is going to just completely not work. But oh I got like three quarts of the way there. But I think I got just enough to get this down. So this way it's going to keep that torn look a little bit more. It's just going to sit below my apron. Now the thing I'm worried about is how did I do with this side? Because I don't know if it's enough. Oh, no, it might just be enough. Ha-ha! And I'm kind of ignoring the line a little bit. 
you can't really see it with all the inking anyway. And that bit of tape kind of disguises it either way. Okay, right out. So you've got that on the top there, that on the bottom, that goes in the middle. I get this set out way too often. This is my, this is from Kaiser Craft. I say I get it out way too often because for a, a Kaiser Craft stamp that I never thought I'd use, I use it so often. I'm grabbing that vintage photo, I just want it to be a little dark, but I don't want a good impression in the slightest. I want this to be a bit rough. There we go. I'm just coming up, just up the side, I'll go the whole way up, or just up to that bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just with my finger, I'm just rubbing off a little bit on the side. I don't want the harsh edge, which it will give me a little bit there. So I'm just trying to get rid of it. It's not quite so harsh. That's a bit too much. I don't know why. I just felt like doing that. Right. Um, I need to still work out how to put these down. I got distracted. Very easy for me to do, but I got distracted. Um, so I have these three. Mum's group I don't know is happening yet, so I'm just going to leave that off for now. But I do know I have a doctor's appointment and, a, and Charlotte's got an appointment, so I'm just going to write them in. Probably should have done it in a different colour than the black, but that's okay. It's, it's there now. I'll come in on the other side with the brown just to pull it back. No, so this is an old uh, who's it by um, feature art I got it at picture to page a couple of years ago and I've used this I've used this collection before to do a whole one I'm just grabbing I hate cutting up pages like this but that's what it's for um, I just stuff that up but I'm gonna make it work I'm just grabbing this Lest We Forget. It's kind of the same font as the, the We Will Remember, so I think I'm going to get away with this. And I'm just, I kind of messed up the L, but that's okay. I know everything else I've torn, so this may look funny because it's the only thing that's got a cut edge. Oh, I can't use that Lest We Forget because I've got it here. Stupid. That's what, it's just, it just looked like it was missing something, but as soon as I've put that there, I think it's okay. I just want to add... No, mm -mm. I'm leaving it alone. I can keep playing with this forever and I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to change it. So I'm just going to go with that. Is it, oh, hold on, I have another thing here. Oh, that's right, I've got one more appointment to put in. Whoops. It's not what I had in my head originally, but I still really do like it. I think that's come together really nicely. I like the layers here. I especially love the layers on this. And I do love that on the back, you've kind of got this little splatter of things. I don't know if that's the right word, but it, it's it's hidden by the fact that it's got the vellum there. And I, I don't think you notice that the vellum is round the wrong way, but it makes such a big difference when it's facing this way that the vellum is the right way. Does that make any sense? I hope it makes sense. So there we go. That's my Anzac week. I do these ones every year and I always try to do something different. I think this one's kind of the first one that's felt a bit repetitive. Um, I know what I was trying to do with the poppy stamp. I think I thought it was a little bit bigger. Last year I tried to do something with the poppy stamp as well, but I tried to do it with a layering stamp and that didn't work for many reasons. Um, I'm still trying to work out the way to make it work with stamps. I'll keep pray I'll keep playing. I may be able to work it out sometime between now and next April 25th. Uh, but thank you so much for staying with me while I created. I know this one was a little bit more umming and ahhing and not quite sure than my normal ones, but it, it's definitely a different kind of week, which I really, really like. Hope you guys did enjoy it too. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I do lots of weird weeks, so join in for all of them. Hope you guys have an absolutely awesome, awesome rest of your day and a fantastic week. 
and I'll catch you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles! Bye!